Now that we are done with programming the Supertech 5 relays and exporting the STD file from Dixie 5, uh, we want now uh, to integrate the relays into SciCam PS version 7. What you see here on the screen is the runtime of SciCam PS version 7. The full server is up and running and the 6150 client is configured for a Supertech 5 interface with the SCL421 relay already. We want now to integrate the two Supertech 5 relays we configured earlier in Dixie 5. Before uh, we start, I want to show you the file that we exported. Uh, from the architect program, we exported the SCL 421 SCD file. We did the same thing from Dixie with an SCD file for our two Supertech 5 relays. So we will now use this file to integrate the relays in SciCam. You need to open SciCam configurations. You go to the top left tab and click configuration. And this will open up your project tree. And under the full server, you will see the 6150 client. When you open up the tree, you will see an interface called ZIP5. Uh, can be also renamed as you want, which already holds the or contains the SCL421 relay. And we will now go ahead and import the STD file into the SciCam database. So you right click on that interface and you choose import. And at that level you can choose from SCD or from CID files. So the SCD file is the overall uh, substation configuration description. So the overall file which contains all the relays available in that substation. So we will now select the file that we exported from Dixie, from Dixie 5 and say open. And SciCam found two Supertech 5 relays uh, which, with this IED name, uh, with this 6150 IED name and these IP addresses. And we will now just go ahead and click OK to import all the information. As you can see now, the two relays here on the left hand side have been imported. There are zero faults and zero warnings, so everything is okay. And if you click off on one of the relays, you can see that the IP address has been taken over from the SD file as well as all the indication commands and measurements. If you want to see, if you want to see those, you go to mapping and click on the appropriate relay, let's say on the first one. And there you have a monitoring direction and a command direction. So monitoring direction is something like the measurements and uh, the indication that come back from the relay. So here you can pick and choose the information that you want to use in SciCam. The IECD server or the 650 server provides all information and here you can pick and choose the information that you really want to use. You see single point information, you have filters to search for information like a double point indication. So for example, here you see the disconnect one uh, that we uh, configured in the relay. This is the feedback signal, the disconnect two switch, which is the line disconnect switch with the feedback signal and our circuit breaker feedback signal. Uh, same thing for the command direction. Just want to show you some information here. So for example, click on double command. Here we have our three devices, our uh, disconnect switch one and two, and the circuit breaker. So all information is already mapped in SciCam, so we can keep it as it is, because these are the three devices we want to also show on our HMI screen later on. One last thing I always recommend to do is to use topology. So the question is, what is topology? What you see on the right hand side is a system configuration of SciCam PS and each time <clears throat> there will be an alarm, <clears throat> an alarm for this relay for example or this the status is changing for this disconnect switch. It will come up with a long name called full server 6150 client interface zip5 and then this name and then finally this, this feedback signal. But this uh, long text that is before the indication alarm before doesn't really make sense to an operator on an HMI. So the topology replaces 
the um, system view with a more reasonable um, topology that, that we will later on use also in the HMI. So what we will do is now we go to the top levels of SciCam PAS. The technology source is uh, from SciCam, so you can scroll down to the 6150 interface and we will look for our first relay, the Supertec 5 first relay. And if you click on that area here, it will select all the information that is assigned to this relay. Then you hold the mouse and drag and drop this to our first bay, SIP1. So 400 kV, bay 1, SIP1. And you release the mouse and all information will be now assigned to this bay here. Which means if now the status is changing, it comes up with a name called in the substation south on the 400 kV level on bay 1 a status of this disconnect switch has changed, which makes much more sense. We will do the same thing for our second relay. So we change the filter here on the top to our second relay. So here you can see it's our Cipotec 5 relay. And this is our second Cipotec 5 relay. Same way to do it, you click in that area, we'll select all information, you hold your mouse in that area and drop that information to bay number 2, Cipotec 2. Okay, now we're basically done. If you now switch to the runtime to SciCam operation, uh, the relays uh, do not show up yet, and you see this red symbol, which means uh, the view is not real time. That's what you see on the bottom. The view must be updated. So if you go to the top level where it shows the red symbol, you can click on update view and will probably display the two relays that we have just added. So now you can see the two new relays here on the left hand side. They still have a warning symbol, which means uh, you can already see them, but the system must be updated. You get this message here on the bottom. So the first time you add a relay to your configuration, you have to update the whole system. Later on, if you just change, uh, you add a data point or delete a data point from that relay, you only have to uh, restart the appropriate relay on that level here. So I have to go to the top level here and click now update system which will update the complete SciCam and makes uh, and establish the connections to the two relays. Okay, now the relays are available and uh, it's still stopped, just what you see with this blue circle with the black square means uh, the communication is stopped. So if you right click it and say start, Saikin so will try now to establish a connection and connect to this relay. So as you can see, I have now the connections to the relays, everything established. So basically it was just an import of an STD file. You map the information that you need, assign it to a, a nice topology, and then communications is completely configured. So no big issue to integrate relays into SciCam version 7.